Hello, Crippen Astronauts. Welcome to the week of November 2nd, the third week of the second nine weeks grading period. Do, do you want to paint? Do you want to paint? I think that's a yes. Say hey, everybody. We're going to learn about the color wheel and we're going to make a six color color wheel. So you need either red, yellow, and blue paints, or red, yellow, and blue markers, or crayons, or color pencils. You also need a paper to draw on. You need something to write with, a ruler, okay? And something that looks like a circle. We're gonna use this as a template to draw a circle, and we're also gonna use it as a mixing plate. If you're gonna be painting, you're gonna need a paintbrush, some water, and then you'll also need some paper towels or something to clean your brush with. If you have a friendly pet that likes to join in on all the fun whenever you guys are doing artwork, <laughs> I don't mind. You can include your pet in your submissions as well. I think it's kind of cute and fun. And Miss Lena here, she just, I think she's, I think she's kind of liking the popularity a little bit. What do you think? Huh? If you don't have a pet, that's okay. I mean, I didn't even really think that Miss Lena over here would be interested in any of this, but here she is and she's making it all the more fun. Somebody's trying to take my job. Okay, boys and girls, this is a way to make a color wheel at home if you don't have a printer to print out the PDF that I attached to this lesson. You'll need any kind of circle template, such as a paper plate. Paper plate would work just fine. You're gonna lay it down and use either a pencil or a marker or any kind of writing utensil. Hold it down steady with the hand that doesn't draw. And then with the hand that does draw, you're gonna go around in the shape of a circle. And it doesn't matter if it's not perfect. We don't want it to be perfect here. Okay, so now I have a circle. And what I'm gonna do with this circle is I'm going to divide it into six equal sections because we want our um, color wheel for this time, it's only gonna have primary colors, which are three. We have three primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. And then we'll also include the secondary colors. We have three secondary colors, orange, green, and violet. And violet is otherwise known as purple. So three and three. That means we need six sections right here. So I'm gonna use my ruler to first divide my color wheel um, in half. Now it doesn't matter if I divide it in half horizontally like this or vertically like this or any way, just as long as I try to eyeball it. And it, again, it doesn't have to be perfect. The point of our lesson today is to create a color wheel. We are not looking for perfection. So if I go across like this, now I have two sections. And now I know that I need to have six total. And I think the best way to approach this is place a dot in the middle. And for my littles, you might have to get big brother, big sister, or mom and dad to help you. And we're gonna make our next two lines in the shape of an X. So one of the lines is gonna go like this. The other line is gonna go like this. And it doesn't matter if any of the slices are bigger. Again, we are not worried about the sizes or it being perfect. We just need a wheel with six different sections. I'm gonna go ahead and retrace this line right here just because it didn't show up very well. All right, there we go. So I've got six different sections. Now, your color wheel is gonna have, you know, the basic colors, which we know as primary colors. The primary colors are red, yellow, and blue, and these are the colors that make all the other colors in the rainbow. So before I get started, I'm going to label my, my sections. I'm gonna start with red. 
And sometimes yellow is at the top, but it really doesn't matter. I'm gonna put red here. And then I'm gonna skip a space, okay? And I'm gonna write yellow over here. And then I'm gonna skip another space and then I'm gonna write blue right here, okay? Red, yellow, and blue. Now, if you wanna make your color wheel with paints, you can. Uh, if you wanna make it with crayons, you can. Um, it's up to you how you make it. Um, originally in class, we are gonna be painting our color wheel so we can mix colors and, and get the full effect. But you can color in your color wheel with anything that you have at home to color. I'm gonna use this circle template as a mixing plate. And I'm gonna add in red, yellow, and blue. If you have one of these mixing trays, these are really good too. We might use this for the second phase. But right now, I'm gonna grab a paintbrush and I'm gonna use this red and I'm gonna paint in this section of red. So, So it is important that you do the color wheel in a, the correct order. Um, I tried to get you guys to kind of get really familiar with the order of the color wheel. Now it is a wheel, so technically there is no start and there is no end. And a lot of color wheels you will see have yellow at the top. But honestly, there is, it's easy to make my color wheel have yellow at the top. All I have to do is rotate it like this and then yellow's at the top. But whenever we learned about the rainbows last week or the week before, and we learned about Roy G. Biv, we learned the order of the rainbow and it also helps us keep our color wheel in the correct order. The only color that's missing from the color wheel that's in the rainbow would be indigo. We do not have indigo in the color wheel. We have blue violet, but it's not the same. Okay, so now I have red and I'm gonna clean my brush off and then fill in yellow and then blue. One of the tricks that I teach my kids in the classroom is in order to preserve your paint water or make it last longer so you don't have to keep changing it out, the easiest thing to do is to paint off the excess color or the extra color that's still on your brush. And here's another tip. Don't ever push your brush like a lawnmower. Don't push it, okay? You place it down and you pull it towards you or you pull it upwards or you pull it to the right or you pull it to the left. Don't ever push it or it'll ruin your bristles. You'll end up giving your brush bed head and you don't want that. Okay, so I wiped off the excess red. I'm going to paint to the bottom of the cup with my paintbrush. That also helps loosen up the paint. Give it a little swirl. And now I am ready to use the color yellow. Again, from this paper plate. Get it all in there. Now, if you see any streaks of red or orange in your paint right now, it means you didn't clean your brush good enough. So if you need to clean it some more, go ahead and do that. I love painting the color wheel because it's so simple, but it teaches me so much about the color relationships. It tells me how colors work together. And that is what we call color theory. Whenever we're learning about the relationships between colors and what happens when they mix together, that's color theory. It's an important part of being a good artist is understanding color theory. And if you remember, color is one of the seven elements of art. All right, so I'm done with my yellow. 
again, I'm going to paint off the extra yellow that I have, and then I'm gonna swirl it in the water. Finish wiping it off. And the last of my primary colors is blue. So get some blue on my brush. Again, you see how I'm pulling? I never push my brush. Never push it. You go sideways with it. Pull it down diagonally towards you, but never ever push your brush. Here is my color wheel. Here is my color wheel now with the primary colors. Okay, primary, red, yellow, and blue. Wiping off the extra. Swirling it around in the water. Notice my water's not even that dirty because I've been wiping the extra off on the paper towel. All right. All right, so now we're gonna mix, okay? Now, in order for me to get this color, which is gonna be orange, okay? I have to take red and mix it with yellow because red and yellow makes orange. Now we're working with our secondary colors. So I'm gonna take red and mix it with yellow. So I'm gonna just divide this. Actually, I have a mixing tray. You don't have to do this, but if you have a mixing tray, it works. I'm gonna use my mixing tray. So I'm going to, my brush is clean right now. I'm gonna scoop some red. Okay, and I'm gonna use another brush to scoop yellow so I don't have to keep washing brushes right now. I'm gonna put it in here. So now this is red. Now that I have red and yellow in my mixing tray, I'm gonna combine them together and stir. And there's that beautiful color we know as orange. And I'm gonna take this orange now scoop it in this yellow taking this orange and I'm going to uh, I'm gonna make sure all the paint is mixed well even the paint that's stuck on my brush all right there we go nicely mixed and now I'm gonna paint it here again these are the secondary colors Yesterday was Halloween, and it was the first time my kids had plans without me. So my kids are 16 and 13. So they're getting kind of big. And it's kind of cool whenever they get older and they can make their own plans but it's also kind of sad because it means that time went by really fast. All right. And here is orange. Red and yellow makes orange. Okay, clean your brush. Ooh. 
then I'm gonna go ahead and label my color wheel now that I have this color. I'm gonna go ahead and label it. And orange is spelled O R A N G E. I'll close my cap. And can you guess which color I'm gonna use? There is really no order to it, but let's see if you can make a guess. I think I'm going to mix up green next. So green, if we take yellow and blue and we mix it together, it makes green. So I have blue right here. So I'm gonna move it to a new spot. And then I'm gonna take some of this yellow. I already have it. I'm gonna just kind of drizzle it over here. I'm gonna give it a mix. Usually I just kind of move it to a different spot, but I don't know why I went with it this way. Uh, well, you saw me use a mixing tray the first time. This time I'm just gonna go straight with the plate that I'm using. Hmm. Sometimes with different paints, the colors kind of come out a little different. I'm not sure about this green. It's definitely green, but it's not my favorite shade of green. All right. So, now you can see it's obviously green when I put it on the color wheel. It's just, I was expecting it to be a little bit brighter, but it's okay. So you're gonna find, as you practice your artwork, that sometimes the type of paint you use, sometimes the different brands that you use, they come out with different results and it's not a perfect science. Um, also, something interesting is that if you use magenta, yellow, and cyan, magenta, yellow, and cyan, and magenta looks like a hot pink, and yellow, which is yellow, you know yellow, and cyan, which is more like a, a bright turquoise blue, if you use those three colors as primaries, oh my goodness you will see some really vivid color wheels. I think, honestly, wanna know what I think? I think magenta and cyan and yellow are their true primary colors. And I'm kinda waiting for somebody to figure that out because whenever I make violet here in a second, you're gonna see it's not really that much purple. But I think in the art room, we're gonna practice with magenta too. Again, I'm just kind of waiting for somebody to figure out that maybe magenta and cyan make better violet, and maybe they are the true vi um, maybe they are the true primaries. Okay, so here we go. Now we've got green. I'm gonna label my color wheel. Okay. And then we're gonna make the last of the secondary colors, which is violet. I'm gonna use my mixing tray again. I thought that was kind of risky using the plate. So I'm gonna use blue, scoop up some blue. And then I'm gonna take some red. I'm not worried about the colors mixing too much now because this is the last thing I'm gonna do. I don't need the other colors anymore. So red and blue make violet. Another word for violet is purple. Purple and violet. They are the exact same color, boys and girls. I know sometimes it sounds like we're talking about a different color, but we are not. Yeah, see, I'm not too, I don't love this color purple. Purple is my favorite color, so I'm really particular about it. And this one's not really purple enough for me, but I'm not gonna redo my color wheel because it is part of what we're learning about is, you know, just even the, the different types of um, brands of 
paints that can give us different results. But this is violet, technically, because we did take blue and mix it with red. And that's the closest thing to purple we're gonna get with this brand of paint. And I'm just gonna go with it. And there we go, that is our color wheel. Last thing left to do is to label it. I'm gonna be careful, I'm not gonna rest, don't put your hand on here, okay? Now I'm gonna put violet and in parentheses, I'm gonna write purple so we can remember that purple is violet. I still have some kids that don't know that, so purple. Okay, and this is our basic color wheel. All right, I'm gonna write that real big up here so you guys can see that. This is our color wheel, and I'm gonna put with primary and secondary colors. And there we go. This is our lesson for the week. Take a picture of it, or if you like, you can submit a video and turn it into me in Canvas, and I can't wait to see what you come up with. Remember, you can also use markers, color pencils, crayons, whatever you need in order to have all six colors, both um, your three primary, red, yellow, and blue, and then your three secondary, green, orange, and violet, okay? and take a picture or a video, submit it in Canvas, and I can't wait to see what you do. Bye-bye.